The United States Navy continues to strengthen its surface fleet by adding another Arleigh Burke-class destroyer to the multi-year contract that has been ongoing since 2023. This destroyer class has been the backbone of the U.S. surface fleet for over 35 years, with a total of 94 ships ordered through 2024. Each Arleigh Burke destroyer costs around $2.5 billion to build and is equipped with the Aegis Combat System, allowing simultaneous detection and tracking of hundreds of air and sea targets. The latest Flight 3 variant features the advanced AN Spy 6 radar and Aegis Baseline 10 system, making it one of the most technologically advanced warships in the world today. General Dynamics Bath Ironworks, the company responsible for building these ships, announced the addition of another destroyer to the multi-year contract after significant efforts to catch up on a previously delayed schedule. Charles Krug, president of Bath Ironworks, expressed pride in his team for improving production processes to meet delivery timelines. He also acknowledged the important role of the U.S. Congressional delegation in supporting the inclusion of this ship in the fiscal year 2025 Defense Appropriations Bill, ensuring the new destroyer could be constructed and equipped to meet the Navy's needs. The Burke program began back in fiscal year 1985 and has evolved through multiple variants over time. Ships designated DDG 51 to DDG-71, belong to the original Flight Y, followed by Flight 2 and Flight 2A classes. Currently, the cutting-edge Flight 3 ships are being produced, with the first Flight 3 ship, Jack H. Lucas, DDG-125, entering service in June 2023. Major technological upgrades, such as the AN Spy-6 radar and Aegis Baseline 10 system, significantly enhance these ships' ability to counter modern threats from air, surface, and subsurface domains. Production of Arleigh Burke destroyers is shared between two main shipyards, Bath Ironworks in Maine and Ingalls Shipbuilding in Mississippi. Bath Ironworks is building several Flight 2A and Flight 3 vessels, including ships like Harvey C. Barnum Jr. and Lewis H. Wilson Jr. Though the pandemic caused setbacks in production, Bath Ironworks is now recovering and increasing its output. Meanwhile, Ingalls Shipbuilding is wrapping up production on Coast Guard cutters, freeing up capacity to focus more on Arleigh Burke destroyer construction, offering hope for faster fleet expansion in the future. The Arleigh Burke class destroyer remains a symbol of power and reliability for the U.S. Navy. These ships not only enhance offensive and defensive capabilities, but also play a critical role in maritime security worldwide helping maintain America's naval dominance in the modern era.